You know, because you, you obviously want to win and you enjoy winning and, you, and you, you, you do that. So where did that come from, this idea that, you know, I need getting to 20 million sales, 20 million, 20 times platinum, getting to this place. So where does that come from in you? My mother. What did she do when you were a kid? Did she say, Gene, always she be number one? She inspires me to this day. She's 83 years old, and I wish she could be a part of your lives. And I hope you love... Oh, I'm going to get all choked up. Do it. But no, no, no. <laughs> because you want inspiration, look to your mother. You bet. Don't listen to the self-help gurus and the people stuff, even though I get paid a lot of money to do this stuff myself. <laughs> Turn around and look at your mom. That's the most inspiration. That's the reason you should go out there and strive. I remember the first $10 million check I ever made, and it came in at one lump $10 million check, and I gave it to my mother, and I said, Mom, look, because, you know, I want my mom to be really proud. And she said in her broken English, wait a minute, hold on a second. And she said in her broken English, uh, wonderful, because she, that's, you know, she's Hungarian. Wonderful. Tikanis. Kala. That's Greek. Uh, wonderful. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> That's precisely the point. Mm -hmm. You did well. Now go on. If you're the fastest human being in the face of the planet, when all the cameras leave and when the girls stop kissing you and you put the award away, are you going to get up the next morning when, when the sun is just coming up and all by yourself try to break your own record, even though you're the fastest on earth. The idea is, shouldn't life be about striving? There is no such a thing as winning. There's only doing better than you did before. Because once you give up, you're just waiting to die. And I don't know, but Ooh, to, no. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. because when, and I, and I get it, you know, and that's great because it's worked out for you. Fine, this now, what are you gonna do next? But did she potent possibly mean money isn't the only thing? It is. But it's not, and you know, because I see your show. You don't raise your kids like money is the only thing. Oh, they'll never get a penny, but that's not... <laughs> but you don't raise them like those values. You don't that's, raise them... That's correct, but money is the gauge. You're an athlete, here are the judges, you'll jump on your heel to do all this kind of stuff, and then when you're done, mm -hmm. judges hold up numbers. Well, it's not about numbers. Actually, it is. It's the gauge. It's, a, it's one gauge of how you do well in life. And it's a gauge for acceptance, in a sense. Well, it's a gauge for how the rest of them think you're doing, because they're willing to give you their hard-earned money for what you do. George, mm -hmm. look at you. You're here. You're on television. You make a good salary. And the more people want you, the more money they're going to give you. It's a gauge. Mm -hmm. And it also means that ultimately all of us, politicians, religious leaders, talk show hosts, rock stars, all work for you. You're the ones who determine how much money we make, and whether you like us, ultimately we're all in the same business. So it, it, money is the numbers, it's the gauge. Now, I don't have the accoutrement, I don't say, hey, that's French. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't do the bling bling or the blung blung and stuff, but of course I do it for money. You know, like, here's what I ask you, just hypothetically, and we'll get back to Simmons Records because that's very important. <laughs> And that is that when we look at the salt of the earth, the people who till the soil, and now that's the salt of the earth. These people go to work every day and pick up our garbage and they build the highways and they don't really like their jobs, but they do it for the salary at the end of the week. In other words, they only do it for the paycheck. Why is that any different than what I do? Like why the idea that you have to love what you're doing, who said that? Who says you got to love what you do? Isn't Here's better? what you've got to love. No, of course, but you're blessed. You're privileged. You can't just go to planet Earth. Okay, go and pick and love what you do. Who's going to build the highways? Who's going to pick up your garbage? Who's going to do that stuff? Who's going to build the cars that you drive? You know, the rivet, 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 10 million rivets. That's all that guy does. Mm -hmm. That's the salt. Of, those are the ethical, moral. That's the backbone. Most of the people on the face of the planet go to work at jobs they don't necessarily like. The reward is the check at the end of the week by the sweat of your brow in return for... I'm the salt of the earth. I do it for money, baby. That's why the Simmons Records label, I own the trademark. It's the money bag sign. He owns that Simmons Records.